I'm Logan at Me and McGee Market, and one of the favorite additions this year has been the Southern Standard, specifically the cold salads out of the refrigerator have been something I have eaten a whole lot of this year. I'm gonna visit with Chef Josh and how he makes these wonderful goodies. Hey guys, I'm Josh with the Southern Standard out here at Me and McGee Market. The summertime is a great time for salads. And today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make three salads that are some of my favorites, uh, all inspired by different people. My wife, my friend Becky Baird, and uh, of course, Logan out here at the market. This is Becky's Party Salad. We sell it right here in the market. It's very different in the fact that this is like an old timey salad. Uh, my good friend Becky Baird found it in an old Little Rock cookbook here in town. The only difference is we are going a little bit healthier with this salad. There's no refined sugar, just honey. All right, to make this salad, the first thing I do is I take one head of cauliflower and two heads of broccoli, and I take the florets off, and I cut those down into small bite-sized chunks. Then I'll have me some pre-cooked bacon that I'll just chop up some Colby cheese. You're gonna mince a little bit of red onion in there as well. The ingredients for the dressing, which makes this salad so unique, is two cups of mayonnaise, half a cup of honey, half a cup of white vinegar, some Italian packet seasonings. Mix that all together, let it chill. It'll turn a nice creamy color, very similar to a creamy Italian dressing. We're gonna add those all together, incorporate everything, slide it in the refrigerator and let it chill. It's best to let it chill overnight. Let all those juices come together, softens those broccoli cauliflower florets up, and it just turns it really, really interesting. It's kind of sweet, kind of crunchy, very, very refreshing. Great little lunch item that you can pick up right here in the market out of the fridge, and you can run right over here to the end of the register and grab you one of these nice Wagyu beef sticks just to add a little bit of extra protein to it and, and make it a light, refreshing summertime lunch. Here's our wifey's potato salad located in the fridge right here in front of the food truck at Me and McGee Market. Um, this salad is really, really different. It's a potato salad, but my wife is from Croatia and she calls this a Russian potato salad. It's a nice twist on a good Southern dish. All right, so the way we're gonna make this potato salad is gonna be a little bit different. So we're gonna take the whole potato, skin on, put it in the water, boil it until it's soft. Then we are gonna blanch up some English peas and some carrots, just for a few minutes, just to make sure they're good and done. I use frozen peas or frozen carrots. That way I don't have to chop the carrot. Then we're gonna take some pickles, dill pickles. I use Maria's pickles right here in the market. I just take them and I chop them with a knife, super fine. We're gonna boil a couple farm fresh eggs, hard boiled. We're gonna let those cool down. Then we're gonna peel them and we're gonna incorporate everything. So after we incorporate all those items, we're gonna add our mayonnaise. So I, I generally slowly add my mayonnaise because you can always add more, but you can't ever take it out. A good friend of mine, Titus Holly, over at the pantry quoted that line. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So I slowly add my mayonnaise and then I add my seasonings. And this one I use the little yard bird seasoning right here in the market. It gives it a little bit of a zip to it with a little bit of paprika and a little bit of the cayenne pepper in there, but it's really, really good. So I, I try to use as many of the ingredients here in the market as possible. You can find the carrots in the market. You can find the potatoes in the market. And then I just garnish it with a nice chive that I got out of my herb garden that Miss Neva grew for me. So football season's here. Razorbacks are coming up. Uh, this would be a great salad to bring to a tailgate party in Fayetteville with you. Uh, you can put it with barbecue or if you're doing anything else, if you just want to do it as a side dish, it'd be a great little option and intrigue your guests with something a little different. All right, this is our smoked chicken salad. This is one of our key menu items. It's inspired by Logan. I had never done this dish before until this year. So I'm, I just thought about how easy to make it, because sometimes easy is the best. 
So what I do is I take my chicken, forever most chicken, um, I bake the chicken off before I smoke the chicken. So that's what makes it a lot different. It's not a heavy, heavy smoke. So now I'm gonna tell you guys how I make it. So what I do is I take my chicken and I bake it off till it's about 155, 160, pull it out of the oven, let it rest, come down to room temperature. Then I get my barbecue grill on about 200, 215 degrees, get my fire going. I get it like a cold smoke because the chicken is already cooked. We're just wanting the flavor. Okay, so I put that chicken on there for about 30 minutes, maybe 45. I try to always use Arkansas pecan and hickory. Sometimes I just go right here to the back of the market and grab some sticks. He's got all these beautiful pecan trees, let them dry out, throw them in my smoker. So it's, it's true and true Arkansas. The next couple of ingredients are pretty simple. It's celery, black pepper, and mayonnaise. Once again, I, I really don't measure the ingredients because every chicken is different. So I take about 40 to 50 pounds of chicken a week. I smoke it like I just told you guys. Take some celery, I turn that into, I put it in a food processor and I turn it into a liquid form because I do not want any crunch, any crunch at all. So then I slowly add my celery, mayonnaise and black pepper until it comes to the consistency that I like. Then I put that in the refrigerator overnight. It's good for seven to 10 days in your refrigerator. So it's something totally different Something that your guests will be like, oh, where'd you get that at? And you'll have to tell them about me and McGee Market. And they can come out here and they can check the food truck out and uh, just grab it out of the refrigerator right in front of the food truck.